Hello everyone, welcome to the test prep card channel. This video is going to be about National Institute of Technology, Raipur. And we are going to discuss the following topics about the National Institute of Technology, Raipur. For extra information, you can visit the official website as well. And in this video, we are going to deal about the basic overview of this NIT Raipur, which is considered to be one amongst the best NITs all across the country. So we are going to discuss a few little bit of information that you need to know before you seek admission to this. Apart from that, I am going to discuss at length the cutoff required, the various entrance examination required to enter into all the UG and the PG courses on offer by the NIT Raipur and all the related information that you need to find. So let us begin with the basic overview of this institution. So the institution was uh, actually established in 1956, so more than half a century of existence. It's a premier institution and uh, it's located in the capital of Chhattisgarh. Raipur, uh, you can actually uh, visit the official website, which is uh, by the name of nitrr.ac.in. Just keep it in mind and you can simply Google it up. But you do visit the official website and have a look at the campus. It's a very huge campus. Let me tell you that. And the courses on offer by this are UG and PG courses. UG courses like BTEC and BE and PG courses like ME and MTech. So it's a public funded institution. 23 courses are offered across all the four streams. Moreover, about this institute, uh, let me tell you that there are 28 seats available for the NRI candidates as well at the NIT Raipur. So if you are thinking about seeking admission into it, it could be one of those options. And entrance exam for those will be obviously JEE main exam and the fee per semester would be close to about 74,000 rupees. Now, with regards to the breakup of these uh, seats for the NRI students across the various streams on offer, which will give you an idea about the various specializations available as well. So let me tell you that uh, uh, the various uh, seats for the NRI students, say for example, in the biotechnology uh, section, it's three seats for biomedical engineering three as well. While for chemical engineering and civil engineering, as well as computer science engineering, there are two seats for NRI students each. And there are there is electrical engineering again with two seats, electronics and communication engineering stream with two seats again. Then information technology and mechanical engineering. Information technology IT has three seats for the NRI students, while the mechanical engineering stream has just two seats for the NRI. Metallurgical and materials engineering has two seats, mining engineering two as well. And last but not the least with three seats available for the NRIs at the NIT Raipur, the stream is architecture at the UG level. So specialization, as I have already told you in terms of the seat breakup for the NRI students, there is the bio stream, which is represented by biomedical engineering and biotechnology. And then there is chemical engineering, then the traditional ones like civil engineering, electrical engineering and mechanical engineering. Then there is computer science and engineering and electronics and communication engineering, as well as metallurgical and materials engineering and mining engineering. So these are the all specializations uh, which are available for you to be taken at the NIT Raipur. Now the required entrance examinations at the UG level, obviously it's JE main examination. You need to have a valid score and we are going to discuss the cutoff for that as well. But let me tell you for the PG programs, MTech, as it is applicable to most of the other institutions offering MTech in India, the GATE score is required and it is followed by a participation in a CCMT counseling as well. Then admission to MCA program requires an NIMCET examination with a valid score. And for the PhD, a written test is conducted by the institute itself. So this was all about the required entrance examinations across the various courses on offer by the NIT Raipur. The required cutoff, let me tell you that across the general category, um, the biomedical engineering and biotechnology that I referred has a range from opening rank round one to closing rank round six. Uh, the range for biomedical engineering is 29,000 to almost 50,000. So that's a huge enough range of 20,000. Uh, then biotechnology again has a wide enough range from 32,000 to almost 47,000 while chemical engineering has 23,000 to 38,000 civil engineering again 23,000 to near about 37,000 computer science and engineering has 7,431 to 10,405 in the general category at the NIT Raipur electrical engineering 14,875 to 
24,000. So it's a 10,000 range for electrical engineering, while electronics and communication engineering has a 5,000 range from 12,737 to 17,000. Information technology has uh, uh, 6,000 to 13,000, a uh, wide enough range. Mechanical engineering has 9,000 to 29,000. And metallurgical and materials engineering, 25,000 to 45,000. So the whole range of 20,000 for both mechanical engineering and metallurgical and materials engineering. Last but not the least is mining engineering with a uh, rank uh, which is expected from the opening rank round one of 30,559 up till the closing rank of round six, which is 49,000 near about. So this was about the general category ranks across the various streams. Now the required cutoff at NIT Raipur and let me tell you some information about the DASA candidates as well. You can actually refer to that uh, document prepared by the test prep card team here after subscribing to this channel. And uh, also the NRI cutoffs, you can find the link in the description. So at the uh, NIT Raipur, BTEC in Computer Science and Engineering, uh, back in 2018, 2019 and 2020, I will be telling you across this Computer Science Engineering how the, there is the trend of the cutoffs at NIT Raipur has been. Round 1. Uh, it was uh, 9121 in 2018, 9746 in 2019 and 8890 in 2020. So you can see that it uh, it has become tougher because the ranks uh, are uh, more difficult to get in the 8000 as recent as in 2020. And the last round for this computer science and engineering was 7th round where 10,000 was for 2018. 11,000 plus rank was required as a cutoff for 2019 and 2020 it, it was required uh, again 10,000 plus. For DASA category candidates, which most of you must be interested in, let me tell you that the cutoff rank for the computer science and engineering at NIT Raipur was 651 in 2020 year. Again, for BTEC in information technology for the DASA category candidates, you need to have a cutoff uh, well above the 719 in the year 2020 for the DASA category at the UG level BTEC in information technology. I could tell you the trends for all of those, but what you much must be interested in is the DASA rank. Let me tell you that for MTech in machine design, uh, the gate trend has been that uh, ranks are getting more difficult to achieve as in the subsequent years from 2018 to 2019 and 2020. For the B Bachelor of Architecture course at NIT Raipur, let me tell you that in general category, it was 1069 to 1415 uh, range. For OBC, it was 401 to 717. For SC, it was 113 to 358. And for ST, it was 139 to 196. So this was more or less the cutoff across the categories as well as across the various streams. And for the DASC category candidates, which most of you must be very much interested in. Now let me tell you about uh, the scholarships on offer at NIT Raipur. The NIT uh, Raipur scholarships are offered to students on merit come means basis. So the NIT Raipur scholarships uh, are available to students who abide by the eligibility criteria, uh, who take admission into NIT uh, Raipur degree courses after cracking the various competitive examinations. I told you the cutoff for all of those. Now the students get admission without uh, without cracking uh, in this are also eligible for the scholarships if they have scored 50% aggregate in 10 plus 2 at least to say the least. And the first year success uh, also is uh, required for subsequent scholarships in the upcoming years. That is something you need to keep in mind. The national scholarship portal uh, that is there. It has been uh, reactivated at NIT Raipur from effect of this uh, academic year. So you can go to the website and check out under the scholarship section in the students welfare section and have a look at the various kinds of scholarships and which one is relevant for you. I have told you about the general eligibility and also the fact that there was a circular at NIT Raipur website that the national scholarship portal has been reactivated from this academic year. And uh, there is uh, the annual household income, which is usually uh, it should not be about 2.5 lakh, which is a general thing. But you can actually check out which one is applicable to you in uh, precisely. So that should be it. And I would like to wish you uh, before the end of this video, all the best for all your future examinations. And uh, also do subscribe to the test prep card channel and do con continue watching all the videos on this test prep card channel. Thank you so much for watching this video complete and do watch the other videos at this channel as well, which will help you in getting admission into the best institute for your requirements. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best.